for everybody that thank God for everybody that's here. Amen. Praise the Lord. We come to give the Lord the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen. To to give him the glory. Amen. And to thank him for blessing us to see another year. Aren't you glad? Amen. Amen. I'm glad too. I'm glad to be here. All right, we're going to start our devotion, page number 28. Page 28. Amen. At the cross. Amen. Page 28. 28. Oh, let me my sin.
And now I am, I am happy. happy all day. That'll only happen if you're born again. Say amen. Yes, amen. amen. I know when you get saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord will put joy down in your soul. Amen. You can leave that open. Brother, thank you. Amen. Hallelujah to God. All right. We're going to go to our next song in devotion, number 43. <laughs> Amen. Page number 43. There's power in the blood. Would you be free from your burden of sin? That power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? That wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonderful power in the blood of the land. Would you be free from your passion and pride? That power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for a living to Calvary time. That wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder-working power. Precious blood of Jesus. And I'm so glad the power that's in the blood can bind devils. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Cast out demons. Amen. Amen. And everything is subject to that name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. That's why the devil don't like that name. He wants you to hush up about the name. But we're not going to be silent. Say amen, somebody. Amen. We're going to call the name of Jesus. That's the name that has the power. Hallelujah amen. to God. Amen. amen. Our last song in our devotion. Before prayer, we're going to sing page 69, Under the Blood. Lord, keep my soul.
prepare and get ready to have prayer. We're going to stand and our deacon is going to lead us in prayer. May I need me, oh, let us stand for prayer.
stand here today, Father. Wherever we're going through, Father, this morning, I want you to look down on me this morning, Father. Wherever we go this morning, Father, sometimes, Father, we don't feel good, Father. We got to go on in the way, Father. Thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, for another day, Father, this morning. I thank you, Father, for everyone in this church this morning, this day, yes, Father. Hallelujah. We need some more members in this church today, Father. Yes, Lord. Because if somebody out there needs you right now, Father, yes, this morning, I want you to test him, Father. Under they wing this morning, Father. Sometimes, Father, make me be feeling good this morning, Father. But you lift me up this morning, Father. But you took me a mighty long way this morning. Because sometimes, Father, we need the word this morning, Father. Teach them whatever way we go this morning. We need to teach our kids, Father, this morning. Because they don't know you, Lord. My Lord. I want you to bring them back home. Yes. Wherever they must be going through this morning. Yes. Now, I want you to test them this morning, yes. Father. Go into their home, Father, this morning, Father. And test them, Father, this morning. Test them on their job, Father, this yes, morning. Lord. Sometimes they don't be acting up on the job, Father. We need to test him this morning. Touch him, Lord. When we go to the mall, Father, I want you to test him this morning, Father. Yes, you don't know what's going on down there in the mall, Father, this morning. I name you Jesus this morning, Father. I thank you again. Another day. We look down on you this morning. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. I want you to test him, Father, this morning. Somebody out there right now, Father, needs you right now. Need you, Lord. We need to bring it back home. Man. There might be a lost child out there this morning. Yes, Lord. Because they need you right now, need Father. Need you, Lord. Bring them back home to you, Father, Father. I want to thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 We come here to praise you today, Father. We come here to thank praise you, you like we ain't never praised you. Hallelujah. I want to thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My Savior, I come to thee. Can we say it? I need. scripture of St. Paul, house of God, we read it every service time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Joshua chapter 24, verses 14 and 15. It says, Now therefore fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood, and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, Choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites yep. in whose land ye dwell all. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Let's say that again. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and obeying of his word. You may be seated. 
Joshua chapter 24, verses 14 and 15. We read it every service time. Right. Amen. We, again, thank God for everyone this year. We give honor to God who's the head of my life in the person of Jesus Christ. Amen. And thank God for all of you that I hear today. Amen. The Lord is worthy of all his praise. When I rose this morning, I rose with thanksgiving, deacon. When I laid down to go to sleep last night, I laid down and gave the Lord thanksgiving, thanking him for the day, thanking him for all he has done, thanking him for St. Paul, house of God, thanking him for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Asking God to bless you, to help you, to teach you, instruct you, encourage you, that you may walk closer with the Lord. Say amen, somebody. Amen. amen. There's an old song I love. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way while we do his good will. He abides with us still and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. Yes, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy. I love that song, amen. But God, it's the truth, amen. We must trust the Lord and obey him if we expect, amen, to receive the blessings of God. Amen, praise the Lord. I am thankful that he has been so good to me. I said he's been so good to me. Amen. Has he been good to you? Yes, yeah. Amen, oh, praise the Lord. And uh, oh, woke me up this there you go. Woke, woke, up. woke us up. Amen. We have food. Well, we have food to eat. We have clothing. We got shoes. Yeah. Amen. I thank God. He has been so good to us. Merciful. Amen. When somebody shows you mercy, they're showing you leniency when you don't deserve it. Say amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm thankful, amen, for the Lord's mercy. Amen. I'm thankful for his grace. What did I say? Grace. grace. God's unmerited favor. I'm going to sing another verse of that song. Amen. Hallelujah. Fourth verse. But we never can prove the delights of his word until all on the altar we lay for the favor he shows and the joy he bestows are for them who will trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. Listen to the fifth verse. When we trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, we will sit at his feet, or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says we will do, where he sends we will go, never fear. There's no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. Yes, trust and obey, but there's no other 
says, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. Amen. And that is the truth, my friends. Amen. A lot of people claim to love the Lord, but they will not trust him, and they will not obey him. Say amen, somebody. Amen. But if you love the Lord, you will trust him. You will obey him. Amen. Even if you don't know what should be done, you can ask the Lord, and he will show you, teach you, instruct you, amen, what you should do. Amen. The blessings of God are to those who will trust him and obey him. Amen. It's one thing to say I'm a Christian, but it's another thing to obey the Lord. Say amen, somebody. Amen. A lot of crooks and rascallions are called and thieves and, and, uh, uh, no, and, and ne'er-do-wells are calling themselves Christians. But the true believers, Brother David, are those who trust and obey. That's the, very, that's the true Christian. Say amen, somebody. Amen. They're true believers. Amen. They trust what, uh, what he says and they obey what he says written in this book. Say amen, somebody. Amen. I said say amen, somebody. Amen. They trust what's written in here because this is our road map to heaven. Say amen. amen. Oh, that was good, Elder Williams. This is our road map to heaven. You want to get to heaven? Hallelujah to God. You got to trust and obey. What am I going to trust and obey, Elder Williams? I'm going to obey the Bible. Say amen, somebody. I'm going to obey the word of God because that is what? The B I B L E. Let's spell it again. B I B L E. What is that word? Bible. And those letters stand for basic instructions before leaving earth. Say amen, somebody. The B I B L E. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Let's say it. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Let's say it together. Basic instructions before leaving earth. B I B L E, the Bible. Say amen, somebody. So we must trust that the word of God is right. How can we have faith in Jesus except we believe him according to the scriptures? Say amen, somebody. Some time ago when we were on Smoke Parkway, I preached a message here at St. Paul, Paul, and I said, we got to believe Jesus according to what the scripture has said. Say amen, somebody. We must believe the word of God. I can't go off of nobody's talk. I can't go off nobody's mouth because too many liars, amen, and false prophets and people that all they want is your money, but you can die and bust hell wide open. They don't care. Say amen, somebody. But when you want truth, when you want to be right, when you want to live for God, amen, you're going to go to the Bible. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you don't understand, God will send a preacher. I said God will send a preacher. I said, God will send a preacher. Say amen, somebody. Hallelujah to God. I know, I know the devil got some, but God got some preachers too. And they're going to tell you the truth of God. Say amen, somebody. Amen. All God's preachers are going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you to obey what's written. Say amen, somebody. Hallelujah. They're going to they're gonna tell you to obey what's written in the word. Hallelujah to God. That blessed him, trust and obey. For there is none other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust him. Trust and obey. People want to be happy. They want to be blessed. But they want to live in sin. Let me tell you now. Living in sin, you will be lost for all eternity in hell. Say amen, somebody. If you live in sin and die in your sin, you will be lost forever. Hallelujah to God. Do you have to go to hell? No, you don't have to go. But when you disobey the word of God, you choose to go. Say amen, somebody. When you will not trust and obey, you choose, amen, your destruction. But when we obey the word of God, when we trust Jesus, what did I say? When we trust Jesus, hallelujah, and obey the word of God, amen, then we can do like that fifth and last verse says, then in fellowship sweet, we shall sit by at his feet, and we walk by the way, by his side, by the way. We're going to be with Jesus. Why? We trust and obey him. Say amen, somebody. Trust and obey. Trust and obey. How many of y'all want a blessing today? Amen. Let me see your hands. I need blessings. Amen. I, I, I'm going to put both hands up. Amen. I need double blessings. Hallelujah to God. Amen. I thank God we got a brand new year. Amen. And so I don't know what all this year going to hold, but I believe in God for new blessings in the new year. Say amen, somebody. New opportunities in the new year. So if I want the blessings of God, I must obey the word of God. Ooh, that was good, Elder Williams. If I want the blessings of God, I must obey the word of God. Say amen, somebody.
Cowboys. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, we're not riding cowboys. We're talking about Jesus. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah to God. Amen. And just listen to what I'm preaching. Hallelujah to God. Amen. To get the blessings of God, we must trust him and obey him. Say amen, somebody. The devil would find every excuse, every reason to get you not to obey Jesus. Say amen. He'll tell you that's too hard. Uh, I don't understand that. I don't believe in that. Hallelujah to God. But see, in order to get the blessings of God, we must believe. Say amen, somebody. The Bible declares, have faith in God. All things are possible to him that believeth. So we want the blessings. We must trust and obey. In the year of our Lord, this brand new year, 2019, we want the blessings of God, don't you? So then we must trust and obey. How do we get the blessings of God? We must trust and obey. Hallelujah. In Proverbs, the third chapter, listen to this. Hallelujah to God. Listen to the word of God. Where? Proverbs chapter 3, we're going to begin at verse number 5. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse number 5. Listen to what it says about trusting. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Say amen, somebody. I said say amen, somebody. Help me call on Jesus. Call on that name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The devil is a liar. Thank you, Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every spirit is subject to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Everybody and everything is subject to the power of God. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Satan. You're a liar. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power is in the blood. You're a liar. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. It says, trust in the Lord. Trust in who? The Lord. Don't, don't trust yourself. Amen. You can let yourself down. Any of you ever had, I'm not going to do this and end up doing it anyway? Yeah. I'm not, Lord, I, I, God forgive me. I'm not going to do that anymore. And end up, man, go do it again. Say amen, somebody. So we got to trust somebody stronger than us. Because yeah. sometimes we're weak. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah to God. So who are we going to trust that's stronger than us? Jesus. Say amen, somebody. Amen. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine. That means everything that's in you. You hold on to Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't care how bad it gets, how ugly it gets, how nasty it is. You stick with Jesus. Say amen, somebody. I don't care what the government does. You stick with Jesus. Say amen, somebody. I don't care about some of these false churches, these wicked churches, and these devil-sent preachers. I don't care what they do. You stick with Jesus and stick with his word. Hallelujah. Say amen, somebody. Amen. So I say stick with Jesus. It says trust in the Lord with all thine heart. That means all of your heart. You can't trust in the Lord with half your heart, and then you give half your heart to the devil. That don't work. Say amen, somebody. Amen. amen. You can't trust in the Lord with all thine heart. You give the Lord three quarters of your heart. He wants it all. Say amen, somebody. If you want all the blessings, he want all your heart. Oh, that was good right there. <laughs> if you want all the blessings, he want all your heart. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Say amen. Amen. What well, that song said, amen, back in the 70s or something like that, no part-time love. God don't want no part-time love. You're going to love him or leave him alone. Say amen, somebody. Jesus don't want no part-time love. You're going to love him, amen, completely, fully, amen, with all thine heart trusting in him. Or you're going to leave him alone. Amen, because he don't play that part-time love. Say amen, somebody. Now, amen, it says again here in Proverbs chapter 3, verse number 5, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. How much of your heart? Oh. All thine heart. And lean not to your own understanding. Sometime at our best, we'll mess up. Say amen, somebody. We'll, we'll tear stuff up, amen. we we'll mix stuff up. But you know what? Jesus gets it right all the time. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. Jesus gets it right all the time. Say, lean not to thine own understanding. Amen. Our understanding may tell us, well, look, I know the Bible says that, but I really want to do this. So, Brother David, I'm going to go do this. Because that's easy. And you see, you see how that works? <laughs> that's our understanding. But when we don't lean, to, we, when we trust in the Lord, we don't trust our understanding. We say God's word said, don't do that. And so, Lord, with your strength, with your power, I'm asking for your help. I'm not going to do that in Jesus' name. I'm not going back that way. Say amen, somebody. Why? I'm not going to lean to my own understanding. 
My own understanding would tell me, said, you know what? You can't be saved. You can't be holy. You can't be filled with the Holy Ghost. But then his word said, you know, my own understanding would say, I don't need to be baptized. But the word of God says here in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, then Peter said unto them, what? Repent. What did it say do? Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission. That means removal of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, my understanding may tell me I don't have to do that, but that's God's word. And God's word already told me, trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding. Say amen, somebody. So I'm going to obey what the word of God says. I'm going to repent, like the Bible says, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission, the washing away, the removal of my sins. Why? I'm obeying what he says. Say amen, somebody. I'm trusting in the Lord with all my heart, and I'm not leaning to my own understanding. Amen. Amen. The devil will tell you stuff, get you to believe stuff, get you to think stuff, just to get you off track. Just to get you out of the will of God. Just to get you to disobey what God has left you, this holy Bible. Say amen, somebody. But we got to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding. Verse number six. And here's the interesting thing right here. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Who? Jesus. Acknowledge God. Say amen, somebody. Verse number six. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Say amen, somebody. Amen. If you don't lean to your own trust in the Lord with all your heart, don't lean to your own understanding, and then in all your ways, acknowledge him, Lord, what do I do about this? Lord, what do I say about that? How do I handle this situation? Say amen. Many times, amen, we have messed up stuff that we just stop and ask the Lord and pray, amen, and, and hallelujah, and if we didn't get an answer, just don't do it. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Sometimes it's better to do nothing than just do the wrong thing. Ooh, that was good. Say amen, somebody. Sometimes it's just better just to sit and do nothing than to get up and do the wrong thing. Hallelujah. But it said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. In other words, the Lord wants us to go right. The Lord wants us to do the right things, and he will help us. Hallelujah. Deacon, he will help us. He will give us the strength. He will give us understanding. Hallelujah. He will give us his guidance if we truly want to be right. One verse says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Say amen, somebody. If you want to be right, God will make a way for you to be right if doing right is in your heart. Did y'all get that? If you truly want to be right, God will make a way for you to be right. If wanting to be right is truly in your heart. What do you mean, Elder Williams? As our text of scripture says here this afternoon, as I close. Proverbs chapter 3, beginning at verse number 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. How much of our heart? Oh, all of it. Trust in the Lord with all our hearts. Lean not to our own understanding. Won't our understanding get us in trouble? So who do we believe? The word of God. Say amen, somebody. We believe this book. Hallelujah. Even though it's cutting your neck off, you still believe the Bible. Amen. That Bible is putting the switch to you. Say amen, somebody. You were wrong, and that word of God is coming. Sometimes say the preacher preaching hard, and it's, and it's hurting. Hallelujah. You, you really get what you say. Lord, send me your word, because I know if you, I get your word, I'll be all right. Say amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Even, though the word is, even though the word of God is tearing you up. It's tearing you up so you can be saved. Say amen, somebody. It's tearing you up so you know not to do that anymore and walk with Jesus. Say amen, somebody. God, you trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding in all. Lord got to help me with that sometime too because somebody sees stuff, I got to go do this, got to go do that, got to go do this. Go, 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 go. So, you know, you can run yourself to death. Say amen, somebody. You can run yourself raggedy and run yourself crazy. Ain't nobody else going to run you crazy. You can run yourself crazy. Say amen, somebody. But sometimes we just need to stop and wait on God. That's right, Deacon. Wait on God. Hallelujah to God. So we thank God this afternoon. We're going to trust in the Lord with all our heart. We're not going to lean on our own understanding. And we're endeavoring in this new year. We want to be successful. How many of y'all want to be successful in this new year? I do. I, I made some mistakes last year. I don't want to make them say that same stuff no more. And when I got, like I told y'all yesterday, all that trash from last year, stay over there. I ain't bringing you with stop, stop, Go back over there. And it's trying to keep, trying to tip, tip up league and trying to sneak in on me. Uh-uh, no, go back where you came from. Say amen. All that stuff from last year, stay there. 
Hallelujah to God. Lord, put an angel there. Keep it over there. Say amen, somebody. Why? I'm walking in a brand new year, Sister Cheryl. We're walking in new blessings, new victory, new revelation, new understanding of God. A closer walk with Jesus. And we don't need that stuff coming after us. Say amen, somebody. Why? We want the full blessings of God this year. So we're going to trust and obey like that old song said. Trust and obey for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. Hallelujah to God. Can we say amen? amen. Can we say amen? amen? Can we say amen again? Hallelujah. I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to trust in the Lord till he comes. I'm going to trust Listen, I know I'm going to have to die one day, but I ain't looking to die. I'm looking to go be with Jesus. Say amen, somebody. So I'm going to trust in the Lord till he comes. If he comes for me by the way of the grave, that's all right. I'm still going to trust him. Hallelujah. If he comes in the rapture and catch the church away, that's all right. I'm still going to trust him. I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to trust in the Lord. Till he comes, I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to trust in the Lord till he comes. Oh, I'm going to watch, fight, and pray. Give him some praise.